What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 6 mostly in this video here today. But firstly, I'm going to talk about this tidbit that came out from Mark Jones, the serious creator of Leprechaun, and him sharing his thoughts with Den of Geek about where he and Warwick would like to take the series and what they've kind of been chatting about. We know last year there was a report that Lionsgate was accepting pitches for a new Leprechaun movie, but nothing has come out since then. So I'm taking it that none of the pitches have really hit home with them. Not to say that that's the case, but we just haven't heard anything. So Mark Jones had this to say with Den Geek. He said, I hear rumblings that they want to do another Leprechaun. He, Warwick and I have talked on and off about it. He likes the idea of Leprechaun in the Wild West. I think they should do a TV series where the Leprechaun travels the country looking for his gold. Now, I will say this. A TV series with the Leprechaun looking for his gold, that could be a pretty decent horror comedy series. It might be something in line with what we're getting right now from the Child's Play series, even though that series people are preferring going into the third season they lean more to the serious territory that we know we first got introduced to with the original child's play and the second child's play before the comedic stuff started becoming more prevalent i would say through the third definitely from bride of chucky onward but if we can get a horror comedy set on the leprechaun traveling the world hunting gold that would be great with warwick davis back in the role there's been again no update on the status of these pitches that lionsgate is taking apparently to get a new leprechaun movie up and up and going so it sounds like warwick is down to play the role again that's the most exciting thing i took from mark's comments not that they want to do a wild wild west project or even a tv series it's the fact that warwick seems like he's having conversations about doing these things in real time and that makes me very excited and hopeful that when we do get a new leprechaun movie it will be warwick back in the role no disrespect to anyone else who's played the leprechaun i just know that many people myself included would love to see one more outing with warwick davis some of us some of us haven't seen warwick in the leprechaun role since we were kids i know that was the last time i saw him in the leprechaun role the last time he did a leprechaun movie i believe i was five or six years old so this would be just a very fitting thing to see in my early adulthood warwick davis back in the role as leprechaun now in the wild wild west that could be fun too but you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below just to jump into scream six we're going to talk about the shrine now the shrine seems to have some purpose to it given what matt and tyler radio silence has stated about the shrine in the new issue from sfx magazine and how they talk about it makes me curious as to what this all could end up meaning for the story. So, speaking with SFX Magazine, Bed Nelly Open kicked it off with a reference to Shrine, talking about the Shrine is looking back to the previous crimes for sure, but the way it's worked into the script creates forward momentum. We had fun with the Easter eggs in the last film, but we didn't want to repeat ourselves this time. There was something so great in this one, putting the Easter eggs literally on display and baking them into the plot. So what I take from that is not only is this Shrine, of course, filled with several Easter eggs as we've all identified from the trailer. The Shrine isn't just existing for the sake of nostalgia and for the sake of just having Easter eggs that really don't amount to anything to the overall grand plot. It sounds like the shrine is very relevant or <laughs> relevant to the plot. So the big questions of course would be, who is responsible for the shrine? Is it the detective? Is it Kirby? Is it one of the other characters? Because obviously the easy pickings for most individuals who would say are, are diehard season screen fans would be going with the logical assumptions of the ones who would have access to it and that would be detective Mo detective bailey and kirby reed potentially or of course some other individual that we may not know about until the very end of the movie that we haven't seen in any of the footage the other thing would be not only who is behind it why is this shrine here who is it a shrine for now of course on the surface everyone is going oh this is for Ghostface, just a generalization, obviously, is for a sh it's for it's a shrine to Ghostface in the Stab franchise. But what if it's for a particular Ghostface? So who would that particular Ghostface be? That's just another alternative you could throw out there. Instead of generalizing it, let's get down to whether or not this is actually related to a very specific Ghostface, and that's who the shrine is dedicated to. But the film will have to come and give us those answers for us to of course have the truth to it um i just think it's going to be a lot more deeper than a generalization that it's a shrine to the overall ghost face moniker as much as it might be a shrine to a specific ghost face gillette also went on to say this about the shrine he said there's this method of what ghost face is and has been and that 
exists in this idea of the shrine. For us, certainly as fans of the franchise, it felt like there was a fun opportunity to continue to build the mythology around this character in this movie so so that it's this sort of omnipresent force. So I really have always dug how they talk about Ghostface. They never really are going to, I believe, teeter into a literal supernatural type of film. But when you hype up the costume like this, it just makes the costume more intimidating when you see it on screen, even though again i highly doubt that this franchise will ever literally teeter into supernatural territory when they talk about the costume as if it's its own entity that just makes the costume that much more intimidating when it's on your screen even though you know that's someone under underneath underneath it all who really is the one with the problems and the costume is really not able to do much unless someone puts it on so what do you think the shrine has to do with the plot what do you think the importance of the shrine will be again i will say this if you don't want any spoilers you should probably stay out of my comment section because i'm sure somebody will be like oh it's this it's that it's it's xyz and of course if you're someone who enjoys talking about spoilers then you guys can go have a fun conversation down in the comment section spoiling the movie for yourselves if you want to but those of you who don't want to have any spoilers again i would say stay away from my comments but i think it is nice to know that the shrine has relevance it is not just simply here for the sake of nostalgia and just for the sake of throwing in random easter eggs and also keep this in mind those robes those those robes that each have a killer name attached to them on the stage that we see sam walking up to where she goes into the center where her dad's robe supposedly is where are their masks? The masks are missing. So are we going to see these masks show up at any point in the movie? We know that one of the killers is wearing a aged mask in this movie. So does that belong to Billy? Does that belong to Stu? And if so, that's one bit of evidence that they've stolen along with the other things that are in this shrine location. However, what about the other mask? I'm assuming those will be retrieved along the way throughout the movie and those will tie into the overall narrative as well why this stuff was stolen obviously is going to be very important again i just love how they are they're basically telling us it isn't here just for the sake of having a cool thing to walk through with no relevant no relevance or importance to the story it's going to have meaning it has purpose and it was intently designed in this manner to push the narrative forward so we'll see how executed how well executed it is or how poorly executed it is i guess as well um, in a few weeks let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description i'll have a link to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video